G'day camp oven lovers, I'm Mick the camp oven cook and today I'm going to do something very easy to cook in a camp oven and that's lamb shanks. All I need to do is put a drizzle of oil in to start off with and I'm going to fry off my onion and garlic. Now the onion has been frying off for a couple of minutes, I'm going to place in my lamb shanks. Next I'm going to season with salt and pepper. So what I want to do is I want to get them nice and brown to start off with. So just keep turning them every couple of minutes. While I'm browning the meat off, just want to talk to you about the heat control I've got going on here. Because it's a stew or a bottom roasting dish, you just need bottom heat from the bottom of the camp oven. For me, I'm cooking with fire in my camp oven fire pit um, by CT Iron and Fire. And basically what I've done is just put the rack over the top of the fire to get the heat. And I can rotate the oven or move it away when I need to let it slow down cooking. But at the moment I want some good heat there to brown off my lamb shanks. Okay, so I've browned off my lamb shanks long enough here. So I'm going to put in half of this beef stock. Next I'm going to put in half of this red wine. And next, I just want to add in these two tins of crushed tomatoes. half a tin of tomato paste then I'm going to put in a couple of bay leaves and my diced celery and carrot and stir it all up alrighty guys so stir it all up pretty simple isn't it what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cook it for about two to three hours until the meat's nice and tender let's put the lid on There are so many camp ovens on the market, but today I'm choosing to use my Camp Chef camp oven. Now I've done a big video about these, you can see the link here, but these Camp Chef 12 inch deluxe ovens are awesome for stews or roasts or anything like that because they're nice and big. They're comparable to your nine quart camp oven, um, but the best thing about them is they've got a pure seasoning on them. They've got legs on the lid. You can use them as a frying pan. They've got legs underneath them so you can separate the bottom of the camp oven to your coals so you can eliminate using a trivet if you need to. But for today, I'm using a rack as you can see. But these ovens are awesome. I do have a link below if you want to check them out. I highly recommend them. If you could smell this, you're going to be in awe. It's absolutely delicious. My lamb shanks have been cooking for two hours now and they're just starting to fall off the bone. I'm running out of light, so I'm going to have to wrap up this video now. I'm going to let it cook for another hour and serve it with some mashed potato. Can't get better than that if you're cooking in the backyard or out in the bush somewhere. I'm Mick the Camp Oven Cook. Happy cooking. Well, if you're still watching now, make sure you like and subscribe my video so you get more notifications when I do some more. And also check out my free downloadable ebook on my website full of tasty recipes you can do in the camp oven. And I also have lots on my website as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Mick.